Hi, I'm Ronald Sturgeoner from Ulster Wildlife and today we're going to do a short video on camera trapping for red squirrels. So when you first come into woodland to do uh, camera trapping for surveying for squirrels, what you can do is take a walk around beforehand um, so you can find evidence of squirrels. So I have here a few cones that have been picked They've been eaten by the squirrels. If you actually check up a tree, you can still see the odd one still caught up in the branches. So this is what the, the cones will look like after the squirrels have, have eaten them. That's one beforehand. And then they leave them quite ragged looking. What you will find as well is ones that wood mice have had a, a go at and they've totally stripped them right back to the core. So now we know this is a good tree, we'll actually we'll set a camera and a feeder up on it. Once we find a spot that the squirrels are we're definitely using, we're going to find the cones and stuff lying around. Um, try and pick somewhere a wee bit of light around it. This makes it easier identifying them from the, the camera itself. So as you can see here, we've got a bit of a, a break in the forestry. There's actually a small stream running behind us as well, which is always a good spot for if you find a water, a water source and food, you're pretty much going to get your, your squirrels in this area. It's quite bright today with a bit of snow on the ground. Um, but normally this ride will be actually full of a bit of sunlight in here so it's perfect for putting the camera trap up. So now we're going to set up the camera before we put it out. So just check and make sure we've got a full bank of batteries in. Turn the camera up to set up. There's three menus on the side here. It takes a second or two for it to come on. So first thing we'll do, we'll check the time and date. If you need to reset it, you can just go into menu and scroll across until you get the, the clock set menu and then just press OK and you can just scroll through the, the time and date so that's all OK at the minute the other thing we we'll have to do is format the memory card which we've put in so scroll back through these, go to format so you pick execute Okay, and then use the up and down arrows to pick yes, press OK, and that then formats the memory card, so we're certain it'll, it'll work OK in the camera. And that's it, ready to go. Switch it off and deploy. So now we'll set the, the camera up on the tree. Um, but I find it's easier sometimes to actually get the heavy end of the buckle. Get a bit more stretch on it so you can actually roll it around the back of the tree. And then attach the strap up. It's quite a small tree this. So plenty of spare strap. What you want to do is get the camera facing away from the, the main light source. So if the sun's sort of coming in from the back edge here, you put the, the camera on the tree with the sun behind it. Get it roughly set up where you want it to be. Tie the loose strap off just so it doesn't flap about and trigger the camera. And then the next thing we'll have to do is put a feeder up. So we'll move across to the tree opposite. Uh, we use cable ties a lot of the time. So you get it roughly the same height as the, the camera, get them lined up. So we already have some foot in here. And what we will do is this, normally a couple of peanuts, you can set them in below the lid. It holds the lid slightly open, lets the scent out. Um, Around right the place so it makes it a bit easier for the squirrels to find them. Then we'll go back across our checker camera. So the thing to watch out for is like of low lying branches, twigs. So you can break them off so they're not going to trigger the camera moving around in front of the sensor all the time. So now we've got our feeder set up. We can check it with our with a phone. Um, if you actually turn the, the camera on, hold the phone in front of the, the camera on selfie mode. You can actually look across and see it's facing the right direction for the, the feeder and everything looks okay there. What you can do if you need to is you can actually um, put cones, a bit of branch, twig or something just to angle the camera whether it's at the top or the bottom and it'll get it in the right direction for you. So just double check everything's off here. And now the camera is good to, to switch on. 
So we just put it up to the on position, close it over. You should still see a red light flashing on the, the infrared lamp area. So that tells you that the camera's working and it's ready to ready to go. So we'll, that's it locked up. Quick check around, make sure everything's all clear around it. And that's it, ready to leave then for a week. Um, come back after a week and we'll be able to review the footage to see whether we have red or grey squirrels. Okay, so we're back to remove the camera and feeder after the survey, survey period of a week. So first thing to do is turn the camera to the off position, just so we don't trigger it all the time. Remove it from the tree. The next thing would be to remove the feeder and leave all of, you don't actually take any food out out of the woodland, you always leave it in where you can do in the survey. So we'll take this feeder down. So it's basically empty out the empty out the food as much as possible. And then we use disinfectant, it's a Vercon S uh, mixture. So we disinfect just down around the, the area. Just around the whole area. Um, you can spread the feet out a wee bit with your foot if you want, just to make it easier for the birds to get at. And that's pretty much us. And then we'll go back to the office and review the footage. So now we're going to review the footage after we've collected the camera. So camera open, so get the memory card out, you just lightly press it in and it'll pop back out itself. And then you can either use a, a card reader or most laptops have a, a slot for an SD card. That's it inserted. Okay, so now we've got the memory card out of the camera We've put it into the laptop, um, ready to load. So we use VLC. Uh, it's quite a good program. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, it's perfect for reviewing trail camera footage. So once the card's in, just open your VLC, go to open file, and then the drop down menu on the left hand side, you pick your memory card file out, DCIM. And then that brings up your list of videos. So, quite a few there. So, about 100 videos. You can actually open them if you want uh, in one go, or you can just open them in a block. So, if you want to do sort of 10 or 12 at a time, just pick the first 10, press open. And that actually, that's your video started. So, then you can just review the footage and you can quickly fast forward through it if you use the the menu on the bottom left, you can just go to the next media, click it, and picture your next video. So you don't have to watch a full minute of video, you can quickly review through footage and record down everything that you find. So whether it's red squirrels, grey squirrels, jays, um, make a note of everything you, you find. And if it's something of note, you can actually save the video number. So if you make, it, make a note of it, you can quickly go back to that video. And that's really it. You can stop that at any stage. And that's you, we've re reviewed the footage. Uh, just make sure to record all your data with CDAR and I or the Red Squirrel United project. So another thing you can do when you come into a woodland to look for squirrels, actually look for squirrel drays. And so we'll have one sort of near, nearly at the top of this tree. They're normally placed in the fork of a, the branches, just slightly bigger than a football, and they're made up of twigs, uh, leaves, and stuff like that. So it's always a good spot to put a camera up, just to have a look and see what it is, whether it's a red or a grey. So now we're into a, a hazelwood, uh, mixed with oak and things you got, looking for squirrels. Some of the stuff you can look for is hazelnuts that have been eaten by the squirrels. They tend to pick sort of prominent areas you can set up on top of to 
to watch out around them. They'll sit and eat the hazelnuts on it so you can find the, the cracked shells. So now we're going to actually have a look at a few of them. Now we'll have a look at the, the nuts that are left on top of the, the log or rocks or anywhere sort of prominent areas. As you can see here, the squirrels have bit the, the hazelnuts. So this pretty much split in half. What you will find sometimes is ones eaten by wood mice. And they have to chew a wee small hole out of the side of them. Sort of like that. Rather than the squirrel just biting them, splitting the nut clean in two.